Christina Elizabeth and welcome to Misses of the Home. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to update your china cabinet. Now, if your china cabinet is anything like mine, it's become this unused space of bowls, cups, saucers, you name it, just random things, all stuffed into an area without the appropriate amount of love and care given to everything having a nice display. Because, you know, with COVID and everything, indoor dining has just been put on the back burner and meals have just been very perfunctory, haven't they? They've just been opportunities to get together with your immediate family and just have dinner. But now that things are slowly starting to open up again and people are starting to come back indoors, I feel like the dining room is going to get a resurgence and a new lease of life. And with that resurgence, your china cabinet, if you're lucky enough to have a china cabinet, is also going to need some attention. So I just wanted to quickly show you in this video how I took our china cabinet from drab to fab with a few simple steps and a few small purchases from Amazon. So if you're interested in seeing how I've organized our china cabinet, stay tuned. So here I am standing in front of our china cabinet. Now, our china cabinet was built into our home. Our home was built in 1917, and it's a gorgeous built-in to the wall cabinet with a tassel key that you turn open to take you inside. So let's go ahead and have a look. So as you can see, it's a very large and spacious china cabinet. We've got one, two, three, four, four shelves that go all the way up and then um, quite a lot of room on the bottom as well as in all the subsequent trays. I'll give you a quick little tour of a few of the items that I have in here. It is a bit of a hodgepodge of things at the moment because I haven't organized it, but these are treasures. Some of them are antique and some of them are from Amazon. So it's definitely a mixed bag. We've got fine china, we've got some Dollar Tree. So it's all a mixed bag of things in my cabinet. So here I've got the bowls that I like to use for my lunches. We like to entertain and we also do brunch quite often in our home. And these are just bowls that I picked up from I think they were from Wayfair, and I just love the pattern inside. You can see it's got this really lovely swirl pattern, and they're very hard wearing, good in the dishwasher, um, and we usually use this set when we're hosting. It's an antique teapot that I purchased in London when I lived in the UK. It's from Sandler, London, and it's got the stamp on the bottom. As you can see, it says Sadler, England, and it's quite a cherished teapot. I love the colors, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So that stays there. My Gottinger picture, pitcher that you know um, I don't use very often, but it is so pretty. So I do use it on occasion. I have this creamer set that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com for a steal. It was like $10.99 and I've been using this quite often. It's made from pink carnival glass and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I use this for creamer and sugar during brunch. Um, just random cup, don't even, this was from Anthropology. It's got a lovely like dog motif here. Here we have my Vera Wang Lace Groskin Dining Set. I received this when I was a bride and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's in a gold finish on top with this lace pattern um, and it's absolutely stunning. We use this at Thanksgiving every year and it has pride of place here, but I would like to arrange it in a much nicer way. So we've got that. This was a recent acquisition. I discovered that there is a pattern called Christina. It's, um, it's a pattern of China and this is the coffee um, container in the Christina pattern. The name of the company that makes this 
is crown moon. Um, and this is the Christina pattern, which is so pretty. It's got the pink roses, which if anyone knows me, you know I love pink roses. I mean, can you tell? So, and I just adored the pattern. I thought it was really dainty and sweet. So I picked this up recently and it's gorgeous. And as you can see, there's the matching server plate behind it. Then here I've got our Waterford glasses. So those need to be arranged. Here I have my very first piece of Jasper wear. I'm afraid to pick it up. I can pick this small bit up. It's a three piece set and it's so gorgeous. This is Wedgwood Jasper wear um, in the blue. It also comes in pink and maybe a few other colors but I am a collector now of Jasper wear. So if you guys know of any amazing Jasper wear dealers, please do link them below. I find it to be such a stunning pattern. So that's a treasure. Then as we go further up, these teacups are from Amazon and I got these for Audrey's first birthday. And they were really sweet and lovely. Let's see, we've got a random glass. Those don't need to be there any longer. This is what I mean when I say a lot of the randomness kind of accumulates and needs to be sort of taken out so that the things that you love can have their pride of place in the right manner and it's not just filled with clutter. So that's what we're aiming to do today. teapot is so sweet. This was purchased from our local tea shop in my town and I think it is adorable. It's kind of similar looking to our house, not exactly, but similar-ish and I just thought it was a very, very cute teapot. Let's see who makes it. There's no stamp, but it was a very, very cute addition, so we got that. This was uh, when I was out having tea with my eldest daughter because we do love our tea in this house, so um, yeah, it's a really sweet teapot. And then up here, we just have a lot more glasses, as you can see. And then finally, we have this adorable pup. And this pup is Fitz, Fitzroy, Fitzpatrick. It's on the tip of my tongue. If you can remember the name of this pup, link him below. Fitz and Simmons, Fitzroy, Fitzpatrick. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't remember. I know it's Fitz something. Ah, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, it's a collectible. It's antique. And I just cannot remember the name. Fitz something. Link me below. Leave me a comment if you can help me remember the name of this treasure doggy. I inherited this one, so that's why I don't know myself. So there you have it, everyone. This is our china cabinet as it looks presently. It's quite pretty, but it's just messy, and I like to have it a lot more organized and, and attractive. So stay tuned. I will post an update of how it all comes out and a video coming very soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.